Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're back once again with a brand spanking new series. Today we're going to be playing Dishonored 2. I was a massive... I remember training with my father in the years after the rat plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. What a, what a messed up thing to say to a kid. Oh, you better believe we're playing as Emily. Why isn't Corvo, like, immune to magic? <clears throat> like, Delilah's a witch, but Corvo is, like, possessed by Satan. Come to love me. Perhaps someday you'll see me as the mother you lost. But until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, then I'll bring her to cold. Shut the hell up. You don't hear fucking shit. Emily must be really strong to be able to carry all these grown men. Anton Sokolov made this lock. They die of a brain hemorrhage that's still technically a pacifist run. We'll drop them on a pile of pillows. Oh, what? This is like for sure the intended way. What the hell? That is not the way I did it last time. Before I went, I went down this way, the way the game tells you to do it. It was a, such a clusterfuck. The amount of like people right here. This is so much better. What the? Oh my God. Uh, calculated? This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Yes, I'm ready. Hell yeah. This better be a ghost mission. That's crazy that if you spent like an hour and a half on that level you could get that that much gold am i still aboard megan's ship it feels odd weird huh what is this place where am i uh, i you can feel something moving closer ever been in hell before what? empress emily caldwin I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a man in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But someone yanked the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father, and I promise. Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty? And are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? I asked Corvo those questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. Hell no. No. Whatever you're offering, I, I don't believe in magic. Own way. Another surprise. So be it. No deals with the devil. All the stories. They're true. Ah! Corvo mentioned being here once. Know you. Do you remember? It's been so long. And you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother, you're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse 
and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer, my gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. Heck yeah. With my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Everything I know has been turned on its head, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat, red ruby. That's how I always thought of it. Up close, the city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood and ambition. The birthplace of my father. Megan Foster is a stranger, but there's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke make me look like a murderer using the crown killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adermeyer. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. You guys make I've been I've been out for like an hour. Hmm. A day maybe. You guys already have posters made. This must be the alchemist's apartment. Alexandria Hypatia. Okay, so I was a little too dialed in for this part. I wasn't talking that much because I had failed this mission like twenty times. Basically, you end up inside the watchtower where all the guards are, and there was no way for me to escape without them seeing me. So I ended up just choking out like every single guard in this building and then hiding under this desk. If it works and it's dumb, it's not dumb. Get over here. I am justice. Yeah, but what you're looking at is my, my 9 to 5. And then for this section, uh... We're right near the getaway car, and there's like these three guards who are all watching in this triangle position. All you have to do is sleep dart that one guard and then crawl over this fence, and then the other two should go and check on him, and you just get in the getaway car when they're not looking. Nice and easy. By nice and easy, I mean this also took me like five to ten tries. But uh, that's the beauty of editing. I only need to do it once on camera for you guys to uh, see me make my beautiful escape here. Remember to like and subscribe for part two. Uh, we go to an insane asylum and fight, I think, werewolves. Hell yeah. The Adermeyer Institute of Infectious Disease. Alexandria Hypatia, chief alchemist. Once it was a solarium for recuperating aristocrats. Now it's a place of alchemical study. The crown killer's taking lives in my name and has to be stopped. It's my hope that Hypatia can explain. They say she's brilliant and altruistic. Well respected across Circonos. It seems like an extremely inefficient way to get here. Mad sketchy dude. 